What's going on guys? Jake here. Got this team I made today around Frostlass and Glalie. I think it's pretty fun. If you'd like to try it out, there's a link in the description below. Let's get into the team. So I've been, I tested out a bunch of different things. This is another version I was kind of happy with, but this is the one um, that I'm most happy with. It's a uh, choice specs raw slash three attacks with switcheroo. So we can swap our uh, choice specs onto somebody who doesn't want it uh, like a Chansey or Blissey. Well, I guess you don't see Chansey now, but like Blissey, uh, other things. Focus Ash Glalie with spikes taunt and, and then explosion ice shard explosion. Then you can avoid like a rapid spin or defog and an ice shard for priority. They don't, uh, I'm not going to say the team is like super incredible, but it definitely is fun. So Ice Shard uh, does does do some pretty solid damage, and then Frost Laths, all of its moves do some pretty solid damage with the choice specs. And then get into, getting into the other guys, we've got a Life Warped Moxie Gyarados with a Dragon Dance and three attacks. We got a Lichy Berry Hitmonlee with Unburden. So you use Endure, you probably, or maybe if, if it's a physical hit, you're likely gonna be knocked down to one health. And then um, you'll consume the Lychee Berry, which gives you plus one attack. And then because of Inverden, you're going to get the doubled speed. So you'll be at plus one attack, double double whatever your base speed stat is, or whatever your speed stat is. So like 500 and something. Faster than um, base 110s with the Choice Scarf, I believe. So then your reversal will be power 200, and then Stone Edge and Earthquake uh, for coverage. Pretty fun set, and uh, it's worked sometimes, but not every time. Then we got a Life Orb Nino King with four attacks with Sheer Force. So Sheer Force negates the Life Orb recoil with all these attacks. So it's pretty solid. And then um, Scope Lens Super Luck Absol with three dark moves and Swords Dance. I don't know who came up with it, but I know I see Blim use it. And I, I checked out his video just to make sure this is kind of what he was doing. So I think this is exactly what he was going with. Um, and it's it's pretty solid. I mean, it hits really hard, and even if you don't crit, it's hitting pretty hard. So that's the team. Let's get into uh, let's get into the games. All right, this guy's got a Regirock, which is pretty sick. And I think I'm just gonna lead with Glalie and not even think about it. We can spike up and and taunt to prevent the defog, taunt to prevent uh, stealth rocks. It's nice if we can avoid the stealth rocks um, getting up. So let's see what he decides to lead with. I'm not sure. I haven't been watching a lot of people's videos recently, but I, I did see a thumb, uh, have seen some thumbnails of people's videos at least. And I thought I saw Envy made a Raji Rock video. So maybe this is uh, something with related to that. I used a Raji Rock, uh, I think at the end of last year ish with, um, but it wasn't in BDSPOU, it was just Sword and Shield with defense curl and roll out. That was kind of fun. I'm gonna just taunt. I don't know if that was worth it. Yeah, it was not. I'm just gonna die to the sand. And he went for the attack. So maybe he's banded or something though. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be killing with earth power. So I think the play is to go into Gyarados and go for waterfall. I know he's got Gastrodon and could probably just absorb it, but this thing's pretty scary and I don't even think it's going to KO it. So just be good to get as much damage off as I can. Ooh, and we get really lucky. So I'm just going to waterfall again though. Yeah, he's got Gastrodon East. Gastrodon East. Um... Expecting the, I'm gonna go frost last. Oh, I'm gonna switch a Rue, go to sleep, give him the specs. He goes for the Scald. That's actually kind of scary, but I'm just gonna go down. Scary because he's already at plus one. I don't know if this was the play. I think maybe Absol would have been better, but uh, honestly, everything might die because of the choice spec. So I'm just gonna Dragon Dance. I think we could take two. We don't get burned. 
and uh, I, always, I always forget. Let me let me look it up. I'm pretty sure Gastrodon um, resists ground or resists rock. Ground resists rock, right? Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna go for Ice Fang then. Maybe we can flinch it. At least get a little bit of damage. And we get burned and get taken down. That's all right. Go Absol and go for... I think Night Slash is the play. I think uh, Absol can actually kind of win easily. Potentially. I think we can go for Night Slash. Hopefully we kill him. We don't. And we're going to take so much damage. Holy cow. Damn. I'm going to go for Earth Power. I don't think he's switching. Let's see what he does. I don't think there's a way we can really win this one. Um, he went into this. We already know I'm faster. Because Glalie was faster, so... Latios. Hope he misses. Goes for Psychic. No point in going for Endure. I'm going to die to Sand, so I'm just going to... Quick Stone Edge. Let's hope the next one is a little better. I think uh, the first turn, um, going for Tauntaun, Tyranitar, like... It was kind of a 50-50, but... In hindsight, I think maybe just going for a spike would have been better. Considering, like, it doesn't even matter what Tyranitar he he was. he Even a not offensive Tyranitar would knock me down to my Sash, and then Sand would kill me, I'm pretty sure. So, um, I'm going to leave with Glalie. He's got the Mew, so maybe it's like, a, and it doesn't look like a Taunt lead Mew or Taunt Spikes rocks Mew, because he's got, like, Clefable and Tangrowth, but could still have it. I think uh, Glalie would be fine, and I can taunt if it's like Clefable to prevent rocks, and I'll just get up spikes. Ooh, that's kind of cool. You're just going to Moonblast me a couple times? Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Everything's grounded, so spikes look really good. I'm a taunt again. And it doesn't look like... I mean, Mew could get rid of them. Kind of want to just spike. Alright. And I'm faster. Hmm, so I'm not sure how fast he is. I think uh, I'm just going to go Absol and go for Night Slash or Knock Off. I think we'll go for Knock Off. Because uh, switching Clefable seems like a good switch for him. Takes a spike, so he is not Magic Guard. He's unaware, probably. Knock Off is left over, so he doesn't have... Uh, the light clay for his screens. I'm gonna go Nidoking. King. He goes for Wish. I'm just gonna Sludge Wave. I'm not gonna predict anything. If he switches, like, I kind of just keep getting spike damage as well. And I'm also not too high in the ladder. I've lost so many games trying to make uh, a team around these guys, but that is alright with me. It's been a while since I've been, uh, since I've played recent or played frequently so I'm trying to get back into it I'm just gonna sludge wave again we already know I'm faster since Glalie was faster but yeah I think uh, I think Frost Lass and Glalie are both cool guys I think Frost Lass is a cool alternate evolution um, for the snow run or whatever line uh, for gen 4 um, I don't have Intimidate on Gyarados. I'm going to go Frostlass and then 
switcheroo. It actually gets uh, disabled. That's fine. So now he's locked into that. I can go into Gyarados and uh, Dragon Dance. He does have Unaware and Clefable, but he's going to take Spikes and uh, yeah, Waterfall is definitely going to kill him from there. Now plus two. Don't nah, it might might kill Tank Rolls. Hey, all right, looks like we got a sweep with it. But I'd like to uh, kind of keep trying to build around Gen Four guys in DP D B D S P O U. That's kind of what I've been doing. But all right, maybe this is scarfed. But either way, I should live. Nice. Gyarados with Moxie is a monster. All right, let's get another one. All right. I think, uh, I see the Rose Raid, so I'm thinking maybe Sleep Powder Toxic Spikes. And that would be annoying for Glalie as a lead, but I think it would be okay. I'm just going to Spike. This thing could do, uh, Rocks, but also could just Magma Storm. So I'm just going to Spike. And he doesn't have Rapids, but he has Defog. So if he wants to Defog, he's got to go into this. And that would benefit me because he would get rid of uh, Rocks for me, potentially. So um, I'm not sure if he would be faster, how, how much speed they usually run. I'm just going to Taunt. All right, so we know I'm faster. He's going to Spike. Nice. I don't know if they carry Heat Wave or if they even get Heat Wave yet. I kind of think they don't, but I'm not sure. All right, now I kind of want to taunt, but yeah, I'm a taunt. Yeah, I think that was okay. And Now I'm going to go Nidoking King and I think it, Earth Power is really obvious, but, uh, you know, maybe he doesn't predict it, but I, I think uh, going for Sludge Wave is okay. All right. God damn it. Um, uh, all right. Well, I'm going to go Gyarados now. I think we can, uh, I think we almost just win with this. I'm just going to Dragon Dance. Let's get a crit. Damn it. CD fog? Damn it. Alright, well. Maybe we still have a chance with Absol him on the. This thing. Does it have. It doesn't say it's exerting pressure, so it's static. So I'm not gonna risk anything. I'm just gonna go into this and go for Ice Beam because of Blissey. I don't know. Not that the damage would really be that meaningful. I'm gonna go with C-Tran. I'm just gonna Ice Beam him until I die. All right. And I was faster. What did he, uh, he Magmas, oh, okay. So Nino King, I'm not, I'm thinking is this max speed? No, it is not. Okay, Glalie was faster. Wait, no. Glalie would be faster even if he was max speed. Okay, so we don't know. He doesn't have... He does have priority. So Hitmonlee's not going to be able to, like, sweep. I'm going to go Absol. And... I don't think I can, I think I'm going to die if I sword stance, so I don't think I can do that. Um, I think I knock off. Okay, and he has, he has max speed. <laughs> Alright, well I'm going to just earthquake. And I'll die to uh, an aqua jet, which I'm sure he has it. That one play, uh, going for over, over predicting on the uh, heat chain really messed me up there. 
I'm just gonna click X. All right, never mind. He made a move. All right, there we go. Let's get another one. All right, this guy's got a pretty bulky team. I'm not sure if it's like supposed to be a stall, stall something, but kind of looking like it. Um, I'm just gonna go with Glalie. Nidal King looks really good. Of course, he has Blissey, so I'm not going to be able to beat that with it, but pretty much almost everything else. I don't have Thunderbolt, so I'm not going to. But Earth Power, Earth Power do a lot to uh, the other guys. I'm a taunt. See what he does. He just goes into Slowbro. I'll spike and spike and spike. Excuse me. All right, Blissey comes out. I'm gonna taunt. Goes for rocks and I'm gonna explode now. I don't think I'll do too much, but I'll do something. More than Ice Shard would, I'm pretty sure, against this. All right. And now... I don't know, but I think Nidal King might kill this. With, like, Sludge Wave. Nice. Okay! Nice game. All right. Um, I'm gonna leave with Glalie. I'll taunt right away. Mm, he went for Wish. A spike. And spike. And... I don't have taunt on anything besides this, so... I'm a spike. Alright, then we'll go Nidal King. And just go for a sludge wave. And then we'll flamethrower. Alright, cool. So he ain't defogging. Pretty sure this doesn't even get it yet. Um I I, I think I need this for Clefable. It's pretty solid. Pretty good. I mean it's pretty good against everything. It outspeeds everything that's not scarfed. Um of course priority, but um That being said, I don't think Hitmonlee is going to be because uh, of priority and whatnot. So, I'm going to click Endure. Hopefully, he lands it. And now I can go for a reversal and do a lot or kill something. Sweet. Dragon Knight. I'm going to click Stone Edge. And. Going to Frostlass. I got the ghost typing, so I'm immune to extreme speed. We'll just go for Ice Beam. It's neutral or super effective. Ooh, that did a lot. Nice. Yeah, I think I just stay in with him because uh, the combination of spikes and Ice Beam is going to just do us so much to everything. All right, Kecleon. This thing does get Shadow Sneak, pretty sure. Mm. And Sucker Punch, I think. I'm gonna go into Absol. What the hell? All right. <laughs> well, I. I mean, what? What the heck? Did he predict that? I mean. Oh, I shouldn't have went back out into this. That was that wasn't smart. I'm gonna go into Gyarados, and uh, okay, he went for a Sucker Punch. Seems like he predicted it. And uh, I'm gonna click Dragon Dance. All right, Ice Beam. That's cool. A little Waterfall. It should die. 
I forgot this thing has huge special defense. That's why I was like, when I went back into Frostlass, I was like, okay, wait, no, that was not smart. And then it turns out it looked like he did predict because he went for Sucker Punch immediately. So, kind of worked out. All right, we have... We're not going to actually get another hit because he's got Ice Shard and Extreme Speed. So, we're going to get killed, but then be able to switch out into something. I was going to maybe switch into Frostlass, but I don't think it was worth it. So I'm just going to Shadow Ball. I think it might kill. Nice. Hopefully he isn't um, Choice... Or uh, hopefully he is Choice Banded, not Dragon Dance. All right, and I think he was. So we can just Ice Beam and kill him. Nice. Uh, we'll lead with... I see his own frost last time. Hmm. Seeing his own, I mean, I, I think for sure he's got these spikes. All right, he didn't go for it. This thing has nothing besides uh, electric moves and shadow ball, so I'm just gonna go right into Nido King and then go for Earth Power, I think is fine. All right, and then we'll go, go into Glalie now and spike up. All right, he goes into this. I wonder if he's max speed. Either way, rocks are, or spikes are here to stay. I don't think he's got a defogger. I don't think any of these guys do defog. Um, so if he was sashed on Frostlass, it's broken. I, I think he would be faster. Mm. I think Gyarados is fine. And... I won't be faster than Jolteon. If I uh, Dragon Dance. So maybe I Dragon Dance twice. Let's see. Does he go right into Jolteon? It was Venusaur. Yeah, I'm just going to kill this. Let's see how long he decides to not go into Jolteon. I mean, there's no way for him to know, unless, I don't know, maybe I don't get KOs if I'm... Okay, that was a nice crit. I don't know if it killed otherwise. I don't know if uh, there's a way for him to know, though, that I'm not jolly. Um, now, though, I definitely go Nidoking. King. And... Just Earth Power. I think it would kill this, right? Yeah. All right, Azumarill. I'm pretty sure we died to a choice banded Aqua Jet. I don't know if we died to any other Aqua Jets. I don't think it's worth it though, staying in and dying. So I'm just gonna go into Glalie. And then Then go into Frostlass, I think, and go for Shadow Ball. Maybe he's Joyce Banded and locked into that. All right, that did a lot. I'm just gonna stay in. If he's, yeah, if he goes for Shadow Ball, I think he specs. So I'm gonna go Absol and then go for, uh, hmm. I'm just gonna go for knockoff. And he was choice spin on this. So we don't have to worry about belly drum. I'm gonna keep the, I think keeping Absol around, keeping Nido King around, pretty much can win with both of them. But this Asmoral is the problem.
Do I just sucker punch? Because I don't I don't think this would die to Aqua Jet. Yeah, I think I sucker punch and then I can go like. I think this wouldn't die. Hopefully. Earthquake would do a lot to either of those. I think Gyarados would be able to take care of this with, uh, I don't know if I'd have to hit a Stone Edge, but. Oh yeah, we took that, okay, cool. Cool, cool. All right, we got another dub. I think LG's after this one. All right, hopefully this last one we can, uh, Show off these two a little bit more. They've been putting in work. Glalie is like the designated lead, so he's pretty much doing stuff every game. And then it kind of is dependent on the matchup if Rossess does much, but I'm pretty sure he's done stuff every game almost. Uh, I'm just gonna leave Glalie and Spike. He U turns immediately. Goes Gliscor. Hmm. I'm a taunt. And I'll ice shard. Just get a little more damage off. All right, cool. And I went for U-turn, so I think he's choiced. So I'm gonna go Gyarados. And I don't know if he would go in Polion right away. I'm Dragon Dance, so. Don't Edge Kill is pre pretty sure it's nice. Mm, all right, if he's Scarfed, he has Speeds. I think it's worth it, though. All right, so he's locked into that. Uh, Nidoking King is safe. Gonna go for Earth Power if he goes Infernape. Play Morb. I play, pretty sure I played this guy already and he was Guts, so I'm not worried about him outspeeding me. Looking a little scary though because of the Garchomp. I think the only way to deal with it is like Hitmonlee and Absol. This beats both of these these guys, but Rosslass could beat that, so and I don't know if it's if it's scarfed in Bernape. Uh, one second. My lady texts me, I will text her back in a sec. Uh I think I go Frostlass. I don't think this is valuable, and maybe I uh, disable him. Got two chances here. Gonna Shadow Ball if he decides to switch. Gonna get some damage on him, so. Potentially be able to take him out with somebody other than these two. Yeah, if I get a crit here. Go Absol. And go for Night Slash. I don't know. Nidal King maybe would have been better. Alright, he goes Infernape. Um I don't know if Sucker, I don't think Sucker Punch kills, even if it crits. Do I sack Nidoking? King? I 
Because if I go to Nudo King, um, and he goes for like close combat or flare blitz, close combat, I think I'll, t I think anything will two KO. So then I can go hit Mon Lee and go for an Endure. But I'm not going to be able to kill the Gliscor then. I don't think. So I think I just have to Sucker Punch and he just kills me. But I'm pretty sure he's locked into that, so. I definitely just go for Ice Beam. And we kill Garchomp, and I think we win. Mm, nope. Okay, so. Yeah, I go hit Mountain and he dies. He will kill himself, hopefully. If he goes for Flare Blitz. Oh, no way! Damn, that was super close. I was thinking about putting Sucker Punch on this guy too, but I think that's a good one to end it on. It was really close, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I think the team is super fun. Um, as you guys could see, you got, we got some wins with it, but we didn't win every one. I don't think it's the best team out there for sure, and there, there's probably things that could be improved upon. So if you guys have ideas, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed um, and enjoy the, the shutdown videos I've been making, feel free to like it, like the video, and subscribe. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and... Uh, Thank you for watching. Peace out, guys.